is no longer writing Avengers. It's a sad day. Brian Michael Bendis with his like 100 issue run on Avengers that includes, you know, New Avengers, Dark Avengers, Mighty Avengers, New Avengers again, Avengers again. I really loved how he did so many things for so many characters. I think Brian Michael Bendis was actually the person who revitalized my interest in comics. Whenever New Avengers number one came out, however long ago it did, you know, I, I did love comic books at the time. It's just like, it was hard for me to get back into them. I saw New Avengers number one. I was like, Spider-Man and Wolverine are in the Avengers now? That's weird. I'll get this. And then I got it and I was like, wow, this is really good. And even for like being like eight-ish or however old I was, I was still just like really down with it. It was just really good writing. And then, you know, I read more New Avengers. I picked up Ultimate Spider-Man. Brian Michael Bendis just like was awesome. He like revitalized my interest in comics. He's probably the best comic book writer out there. Well, at least one of the best. He's really, he's really, really good. Really good. Really, really, really good. Him being done with Avengers is really throwing me for a loop because he's been the Avengers guy for like 10 years. He's been the guy who tore down the Avengers, brought them back up, and then tore them down again, and then brought them back up again. And then he's just like, okay, what am I going to do with this? Well, there's a lot of characters that I don't like, but it's, they're still in here. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to have this thing called Disassembled, where I kill like 15 of them. It's going to be awesome. People are actually going to like it, because it's not going to be like, oh, well, Captain America died, and this person died who's really important. There were a few important people who did die. But anyway, after Disassembled, it was like, well, the Avengers are all messed up. There are no more Avengers. That's sad. Oh, look at that. Reality's changing. Scarlet Witch, what are you doing? What, 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 are you, what, are you, what, what? And then there's that House of M storyline where everyone gets to see what their lives would be like if they were perfect. And if mutants ran the world instead of humans, which was very interesting. I liked seeing that. I liked seeing an alternate reality that like, this is what people want mentally. And Scarlet Witch is just giving it to them. It's interesting to see what people would actually want in their life as opposed to what they get. It's interesting to see these people they probably wouldn't have even thought about, like, what they actually want. Peter Parker probably wouldn't have even thought, you know, if my life were perfect, um, Gwen Stacy would still be alive, I'd be married to her, and Mary Jane would uh, be off somewhere, maybe with Harry, who knows. Uncle Ben would still be alive. You know, he'd be a professional wrestler, he'd act like if he were a mutant, if the mutants ran the world. It's a pretty interesting story arc. After House of M, no more mutants. Okay, there's 200-ish mutants now. Ben is working on X-Men now instead of Avengers. It's weird because he did Dark Avengers and that was like one of the best-selling books that, that Marvel's ever done. And it's one of the best written books that Marvel's ever done. Oh, super villains. Super villains are in charge of the world. Super villains are the good guys. Good guys are pretty much not good guys anymore. The super villains are on top of the world. They run things. Let's see what happens. But now that Bendis is switching from Avengers, from these characters that he's revitalized, like Luke Cage and Luke Cage, Luke Cage was really well done by Bendis. I mean, that's just Jessica Jones. But Avengers vs. X-Men is like, okay, well, well, the, the Avengers and the X-Men are fighting, and this thing's happening, and that thing's happening, and it's all about the Phoenix, and now the Phoenix has taken over five different X-Men, and Cyclops, while possessed by the Phoenix, killed Charles Xavier, and mm hmm hmm what? Why would you do that? Why is that? <laughs> Why is that necessary? But I guess Bendis revitalizing the X-Men franchise, not such a bad thing. I'd like to see X-Men do good again. You know, I'd like to see Cyclops, um, you know, be, be good, be a good character. And I'm sure a lot of characters are going to be like brought back. Like, you know, Charles Xavier going to be brought back, as is the way of comic books. Everyone will be killed or brought back at some point or another. Just wait. Just wait. What do you think about the whole Bendis writing X-Men thing? Yeah.